Hey, welcome to my video on using a stock market API with uh, with Python. I also have a video coming out today on using it with PHP. So I on my screen right now I have a medium post that I posted two days ago uh, about how to do it. Now the biggest issue with the stock market API is a finding one that's free because um, obviously people in finance probably want to charge for these things, and then B is finding something that's um, reliable and that exists. So I actually went to this. You know, I, I gave it a couple of Googles and I ran into 96 stock APIs. Most of them were dead and not working. Google and Yahoo both had finance APIs that eventually went away. And so I, I came across this one called, I don't know how to pronounce it, um, but it wasn't valid. You know, it, it had a bunch of paid ones, and which eventually, with some more Googling, led me to these, this guy here. And so this is. I don't know. It's 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 a real time, um, no, somewhat real time. It shows you um, the open and close at a minimum, which is all I really cared about at the time. And so you can run a demo one. And I just went to the docs to get this. If you run a demo one, it uses Microsoft and it uses the API key demo and returns this. Now, um, so on the thirtieth, which is today, I guess today is the thirty-first. Um, I guess the market's not open yet. I think it opens at 9.30, I really don't know. Um, Microsoft is trading at $83, it closed. Um, it's an after hours trading right now. It's about to open, so uh, it closed at 83.89, and that's why it closed that. So it, it's valid data, um, So and with that we're just going to have to parse it out. So I'm expecting you to have Python installed. Um, just, use, just take a look at um, brew install, or um, just uh, it's easy. Just give it to Google. Um, so what I'm going to do is open up a new terminal. I'm going to open up an editor. I'm going to create a new file and save it as um, stock.py. Stock and that's my entire. Desktop. I didn't know it did that. Um, you'll not. You'll need to have pip installed. As you can see, I'm. In, uh, in, I already have my pip installed. And I'm installing requests. Um, requests is an HTTP request manager. So we're gonna make, have to get make get request and then parse the JSON. And so request allows us to do it. So just do a pip install request. As you can see on my screen, I have it. So all I have to do now is do an import request, and I can make out outgoing requests to um, APIs. So what we're going to do is make an API called the, the, to the demo one. Um, so we're going to say uh, our API key. I'm just literally going to copy all this code because it's all valid. Um, and I'm going to make my API key demo since we're just using Microsoft. But if you're using other tickers, you can get it for free. And so it'll print out the JSON, which we don't need. If we get a proper response, which is a 200, we want to then start parsing it. So we want to say result, turn the, the JSON into an actual JSON object, and then grab the time series because we want to grab the ob here's the object, and we want to grab the uh, the child object, which is time series daily, and then we want to grab the current date, which is today. Um, if you Google how to get the current date with Python, you'll get something. So if you want to actually like program so that it gets just today, um, I'm going to hard code it so that I only get. I don't know why I did that. And then what it does after that, it grabs the, all the data for the single day and then grabs the child information within each one. And we're going to try running that and run Python. Uh, sorry, we have to get to the proper folder, which is on my desktop, and run Python stock.py. Um, oh, I got too many strings here. I fix that on the article too. Stock.py, this is a get request. Here, so it makes the get request with the API key on the end, it returns a 200, it parses it, and then it prints out the dailies. I don't know what the, oh, that's the volume, the very last number. And it's just that simple, that's how you get stock information with Python um, in a free way um, via an API. If you like this video, please subscribe. I have other ones. Also, check out easyapi.io, it's my new project. Uh, tell me what you think.